guess what we're doing today. is it outside? A whopping 43 degrees. <laughs> and it's wet and there's leaves on the ground. <laughs> ah, thank goodness. I'm gonna need this. Maybe I put my insert in. Might take a little bit. <laughs> Winter is upon us. Oh my god, I should ride like this. I feel like a marshmallow. Glove trick. I hope this works because my hands are always the first thing to freeze. Kind of nervous. I'm worried I'm not gonna be able to touch, or there's gonna be leaves on the ground. Okie dokie. My backpack doesn't match the bike. What's the backpack for? Helmet. Oh, um. Well, I have my wallet in there and my first aid kit. You never know. At least it would be in there. Maybe I'll come across like a uh, dog that's hurt. I get to wear the attention deficit helmet. I'm special. This thing's so heavy with that battery pack on there. <laughs> it doesn't fit. Your head's smaller than mine. I'm gonna have a worse headache. <laughs> Woo! Are we ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Months since I've ridden a bike. Oh, I can't touch. Ooh God, this thing's so fancy. This thing is definitely super, super quick. <laughs> and I honestly, first impressions, I don't like the way it sits. I don't like the way that where the shifter is. It's like way far back for my feet. pretty bundled up so that's nice but yeah I'm just these foot pedals like I don't I can't feel them in my normal like riding position so I guess I just don't like that I feel like it would be hard to quickly use your back brake but like I said that's something that can be adjusted I like the handlebars the way they sit I really like that
doesn't take anything <laughs> to get it up to speed for sure. I honestly don't think I've ever done 80 on a bike. Uh, the 300, the only time that I rode it was when the clutch was kind of messed up, so I could only get it to like 65. So my heart is beating. <laughs> I'm not used to this. Like I said, you're definitely like not bent over like a crotch rocket. I like it. If I could get used to the feet, I definitely would say the sitting up is like a grom. The handlebars are like a grom. Surprised there's not more leaves on the ground. They've all been blown off. See, the dash is absolutely insane. It's kind of distracting. But, especially, I mean, like I said, I think this would be really different once you got used to it and it would be a great bike. I think it is a great beginner bike for as small as I am and like the power that it has, it's like really perfect. Ooh, gravel. Car. There's adjustments that I would make. Like it's kind of hard. I don't know if you guys can see, but my fingers don't reach the clutch. So I have to like take my hand pretty much off to reach it. So like that's something that I would probably change. I hope this isn't like a, just a dead end. I like the sound of it, even without the exhaust. Like I said, I like the way that it sits. I can sit back obviously a lot further. Like I'm, I'm really close to the gas tank. The handlebars are nice. I know Tanner mentioned that, you know, he likes how the, the bend of the handlebars. I like that too. It's not something that I would change. excellent beginner bike I like the way that it sits um, it's small but it has like a ton of power and I think it's super advanced as far as like the dash and just the way that it looks obviously is kind of futuristic praying mantis look a lot of you guys wanted a comparison with the 300 the CB 300 and I feel like it feels a lot different I feel like the CB was a lot more crotch rocket feel and this is just like a big grom and i know we kind of said that the 300 felt like a big grom but i do think you're bent over a little bit more on the 300 and this i sit up pretty straight um i don't know with the way that tanner is if he was bent over more but his arms are longer than mine so i imagine he was pretty straight too if i had to like say that i liked one more than the other that's hard I definitely like the get up and go power of this one. I 
probably say this one. Okie dokie. Well, I've said almost everything that I feel about it. You don't see many of them, so it's kind of nice to have a unique bike. Like, I think this is the only one that I've seen in Columbus, as far as I know. It's different. Like I said, I don't know if I like the look of it compared to, like, to the CB. I think they're both great beginner bikes. Like I said, I think this one has a lot more power to it. This guy's riding in the middle of the road. This one's definitely gives you a supermoto feel. something you can, can get comfortable with so I recommend it I think it's great I'm glad that I got to ride it right before it gets sold and guys stay tuned for more bikes more adventures and like comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next one Stay tuned for all the winter adventures that are going to be coming up because it's coming quick. Hopefully we'll get this thing, one of these things going so we can heat this place. But stay tuned for the fun stuff as well. And we'll see you tomorrow.